So this video I'm going to show you guys something I don't think I've ever really shown on video of me doing it but we're going to trim the tank today the 20 gallon rimless and it's just getting a little out of con control and I I need to start doing the water changes again because I kind of let the water changes kind of let out for a couple of weeks and I haven't been doing them for obvious reasons but it's not like I've been just purposely missing them but um so I think I need to finally get this thing a water change it's it's kind of it's not really that bad it just you could tell it's it's definitely getting there and so I guess we'll go over what I'm gonna trim that's perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with the java fern as you can see this is getting super tall um I don't really know where I'm gonna trim it if you see down here where this leaf is that might be too much I don't know if I want to chop all that off but I think I definitely will trim a good inch off all these I'll just kind of see I'll kind of just kind of um eyeball it and just kind of just see what I like when I get down there I might um yeah I mean I might have to start trimming back here start back here and just kind of work my way you know to the sides but definitely you know take about that much off but that's rep is definitely need to clean up this thing is to clean up this thing is just it, it should be sticking out of the tank at this point I mean it it's just um it's literally floating at the top there's I mean there's so much of it so yeah you see the leaves are just falling off at this point they're just you can see you can see it's actually um I saw it kind of sucks to um, cut it off now but you can see um it's finally changing colors um if you don't know this species and you know a lot of plants do this too but they'll actually the tips will actually change colors um and this this actually this plant turns about a I want to say a red more like an orange and you can actually see it right here really good um that it's, it's actually doing that which is pretty cool it sucks that I'm trimming it off now now that it's tur turning colors but this thing's kind of desperate for a change um trim you can see just all uh, it just it goes up and then just curves because it's just floating on the surface so we're going to definitely take off a bunch we're going to replant the corner so except these these trimmings that are going to be so long we're definitely going to plant fill out we're going to basically fill as fill as much of this corners as we can as we see we have we have a good amount so maybe two or three stems and that's a that's probably about all I'll tr um plant right there but um so yeah i mean i'll you guys will see the when i start trimming one thing i did want to show that i forgot to show was my tools i'm using i just have pretty nice um the stainless steel tools i got you know the curve and i got my tweezers that i don't be used very often and i got my curved tweezers um very simple setup of tools but it gets the job done but if you um I know some people wonder what type of tools you use. If you do want to have, if you do wonder where I get these, I can send you a link. Um, just tell me in the description or the comment section if you guys want to know where I got these, and I can send you a link. So you guys, they're pretty cheap. I think, I think twenty five dollars will get you all three of these, or maybe twenty dollars. I forget, but I'll get, I'll, I'll come back at you guys when I start trimming this up. So I'm going to try this angle out, see if you guys can get a really good view. But basically, what I'm going to do is. I'm gonna pick up the the stem and basically just because you want to make sure they're nice and even and so we'll basically trim off the first one to you know what about where we want it and then we'll you know basically cut the rest to the same length and get it all nice and straight okay so I'll start cutting up the first piece here as you can see, it's, I mean, you can't really see the top right now, but these pieces are long. Way longer than they should be. Should have a, t something to set these, set these stems on. So we just cut the first one. It's, you can see that it's actually kind of cool. Um, you guys might see it in the video, but, um. You can actually see little air bubbles come out when you cut them. That's all the, um, you know, the CO2 and oxygen that the plants release. And, you know. Let's see. Yeah, this is going to be super short when we're done. Good, good stem so far, though. Good four or five inch stems.
but these are really easy to trim. I mean, the best the best way to trim these is just right at the um, because you don't want to leave a lot of stem left. So if you guys can see, you could see how I'm just I'm basically flushing it with these next set of leaves. So that you know that's the best way I've done it. Um, because if you cut it any other way, more than likely the leaves are gonna or the stems are gonna grow back weird at like a weird angle. Um, some of you guys might have experienced that before. That was a good piece right there. That's a good. These pieces are really long, so it'd be nice um for replanting. And sometimes you can actually see where you cut it before, so you can just go ahead and cut it, you know, in the same place as last time. So it makes it kind of easier. This one has two stems growing off of it. Kind of sucks, but sometimes it kind of sucks to cut all this off, but kind of have to do it. It's getting out of hand. This already looks ten times better. I've actually this is probably the shortest I've ever cut it, but you don't want to cut too much off at the same time though you will stress the plants out just like you can stress a fish out so just to keep that in mind try to cut it as even as possible yeah I'm gonna cut that off I damaged the leaf there so I'll just go ahead and cut it then there we go yeah, this is really short now. Looks weird. But. Go ahead and cut that piece out. That was the piece that was hanging on the side earlier. So that's about. I think that's about it. Real easy and simple. That damaged that leaf a little bit. Let's cut that off. Okay. Everything's falling over. But um, as you can see, um, it it never looks great when you first trim it because you know it's just because you you cut a majority off of it and it just looks weird when it's all flagged that. But as you can see, you can see these little air bubbles coming out. I don't know. You can kind of see, you see this clear little bubble right here. That's what I was talking about with it releasing. But, I mean, yeah, yeah, it look, I mean, it looks 10 times better than what it, what it was, though. It was getting really long, but it'll grow back. But Koopa is really good at growing back fast, so it'll be fine. So now, I'm actually going to go ahead and see, these are all the stems. This would make, this would make really good stems if somebody... It sucks because if these are gonna, mostly going to get thrown away, but if somebody else had a plant tank, I would definitely give them some stems. But see this stem right here, like I'm going to replant that, find some couple good ones, and fill out that corner. But um, I'll sh you know I'll come back when I show you guys that. <clears throat> so it's a little little mucky from the thing, but as you can see, I did about look. It don't look the greatest, but you can see I planted one, one, two, three stems in this corner, so that. So that should fill out this corner now. So now this corner should be pretty much as I want it. Um, obviously, you know, it's not going to look as great as it, it did. But um, now we're going to move on to, you know, cut a good inch off of this. And um, I'll come back to you guys. So I won't get really good footage of me cutting this as I did the Bakupa. But as you can see, I'm just kind of... I'm just kind of doing it all evenly. You know, you don't want anything uneven. Just kind of, you know, it's kind of like giving the plants a little haircut. Just kind of nice and even. The plants will float, like some of these big ones in the back. Just slice them right off. The good thing with S ribbons is, even after you trim them, they really don't look that bad. They still look about the same. Which is nice. Okay. So even that off. I mean really. I don't really need to cut this front. Because I mean. This already looks pretty good. Um, 
but I do want to cut a little bit of off. Yeah, there's going to be leaves floating everywhere in this tank, so what we'll do is take a net and just catch it all and just throw it in the trash. Because s weapons, it's kind of hard to reuse s weapons. I mean, you could do it. I've done it before. It just doesn't always work the greatest. It's a little bit harder to reuse than the others. So, this, I, I did kind of cut this a little bit shorter, which kind of sucks, but we can go back and kind of just even everything out if we want to. But it's kind of hard to film and do this at the same time, trying to kind of mess up. fix up some of these leaves I think we'll go with that for now so as you can see I mean all I did was just take a good layer off I know you guys couldn't really see it but then we step back yeah we got leaves going everywhere but not bad at all I can live with that so I'll get this tank cleaned up and if you get um I'm sure a lot of you are going to leave right now and, you know, exit out. So, I guess I'll see you, see you guys on the next one. But if you want to stay around, I'm going to show you guys what this tank looks like after the water change and when it's all cleaned up. So, for the, <clears throat> so for the people that would like to know what I, you know, put in here for this tank, um, this is basically the three main things at the moment. I do do fertilizer, the co um, Quarium Co-op's fertilizer. So, I do... Thorchic cell, I do some obviously prime and then I do some uh, stability. And then obviously for fertilizer, I got big bottles of um, easy green. So, how I do this is you do 10 drops of this, one, two, three, four, like that. Toss that back in there. Okay, and then it just depends on how big the water changes. I'll probably do another cap full, but one cap full of this. That. And then one cap full of stability. So that's just a quick run through of how I do. That's basically what I do every week. And then obviously, I like to just do this right into the tank. Kind of clean this nozzle off. It gets kind of dirty sometimes. So I do like about half a. Half a squirt, like that. And for supplements, that's that's basically it for every week. And then occasionally, I might I might do um, algae fix. Um, yeah, I mean that's basically. I got so much <laughs> stability. I mean not stability. I got so much sea chem stuff. That's all I really dose is anything sea chem. But yeah, that's that. For anybody that, that would like to know, that's that's the main things I do every week. Pretty simple, nothing special. Um, but yeah. So I'll get you guys back until when the tank clear and fill it up. So here's basically the finished product. It's still a little, little bit of cloudiness. But it's only been like 5 minutes after I did the water change. But I cleaned it up pretty well. It's pretty much clear, just a little bit of fogginess, but that's alright. But kind of sit down and you can really see it now. But you see, we got these ones were too short, so I couldn't really cut them. But they do kind of curve off, which kind of sucks. Cause it is, I, I kind of like all of them going straight up, but um, they don't look that bad if you zoom up. Main thing is all the oh, focus. Okay, so all the main ones, you know, are cut the same length. That one must I must have cut that one just a tad bit longer, but. All the other ones are pretty much good. And then as you can see, that reference looks exactly the same. It actually looks really good now. But everything else doesn't look that bad. You know, we do a little famous angle. Probably the best angle of the tank is right here. Tank's looking pretty good. It sucks that it won't, you know, be look like this forever just because we'll have to move and everything will get destroyed. So we'll kind of lose all our progress. But um, the good thing is we'll definitely... We'll make it look better and do something different next time, but 
other than that comment like comment what you guys think of this tank and i'll see you guys next